Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be trying out a viral recipe that I saw here on YouTube. It has almost 9 million views. I'm craving something heavy on the carbs and cheese. So I thought it's the perfect recipe to try out today. It's the cheesy potato filled bread recipe. Let's get to it. It says to use 90 milliliters of milk. So I will do one quarter cup and about one tablespoon more since one quarter cup is 80 milliliters. This should get it to 90. I also need about a gram of salt, 150 grams of all-purpose flour, and now butter. 15 milliliters of butter. At this point, I think I can use my hands to knead it. His didn't stick as much, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more flour. I think that's about it. We're going to cover it with a clean film and let it rest for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the filling. Now we have two potatoes. We're going to boil them and mash them. I'll do that and come back. Recipe says to use bacon bits. I don't have it, so I'm going to fry these bacon up and then cut them into bits. And we have the potatoes cooking. And I will shred some mozzarella now. Recipe says to use mozzarella. And I only have this much of mozzarella, so I will be mixing some other types of cheeses, like cheddar and maybe parmesan I think this should be enough Awesome One tablespoon of mayo, some salt, I think that's enough. There is going to be some lumps, obviously, but I don't mind. So I'm gonna put this to the side, get the dough. I'm going to flour the work surface a little bit so that it doesn't stick and put this to the side. It feels very soft, very pliable, so I don't think I'll have an issue with sticking. My only concern is my pan is not that big and if I make like a one big potato bread, it might be too big for my pan, so I'm going to do, I think, two instead of one. Since I want to use the same technique at this point, I'm going to cut this up in the middle, put this to the side and let it sit. I have to say I really like this dough. It's really nice, really soft. I've never used milk in these types of recipes before, so I think I like it. I think he makes it about this big. So, one last stretch. There we go. I'm going to smother the cheese right in the middle, mixing up the cheddar and mozzarella, some of the onion and bacon mixture. I don't remember in the video that they were mixing it into the potatoes or not. I just didn't. I'm going to put about half of the potato. I am going to remove the excess and make sure I pinch it. And stretch it out a little bit more. I'm also going to remove this part. 
Okay, let's get to the pan. I think even with the half of it, it's still too big for my pan. I'm gonna let it cook and prepare the other one. I think this one is ready. I'm going to put the next one. One, two, three. There we go. One more time. I have this tiny one left, a little doll I had left, so I made that one as well. In the meantime, while that's cooking, let's cut into the one that I just got off the stove. Let's do a quick taste test. This is how it looks. It's obviously amazing. Ooh. And the chilies that I added adds the perfect spice to that rich, cheesy and like carp flavor. It cuts through it. And the bacon and the fattiness, oh, this is amazing. You guys should try too. Bye.